Hi everyone, welcome to another Airline Pilot Plays live stream. Almost half a year since I've streamed on this channel, and I thought, why not? Why not spend my Thursday evening playing one of my favourite games? Well, one of my favourite things I've to stream with you guys, which is Train Sim World. I think this is like the fifth or sixth time we've done it. And a while back, I purchased the Spirit of Steam DLC. And I've been waiting for quite some time to actually stream this. I've played it for the first time today for about an hour. Just to have a little bit of a, a play so I'm not completely useless. We're going to follow the story mode with this. All the different chapters. Maybe in a few more streams I could do some of the other chapters as well. So it's sort of like the campaign mode. I've already done the first two. We're going to do the first two again. And then from then onwards I have no clue what's going on. Um, it's very tricky. I think at the moment I've got it on the easier mode where I've got a... Uh, what do you call the person? The, the stoker? The, the second person on the train? <laughs> <laughs> who uh, basically puts the coal in the in the boiler and manages the boiler and steam pressure. I, I've got that on automatic for now, but the full driving is completely manual. Um, it's going to be very interesting indeed. Who have we got here in chat then? Blade929 says, full steam ahead. Hope you're doing well. Um, uh, full steam ahead to you as well. Craig Scott says, evening alpacas. Hello, Chief. John M. Fireman or Second Man, yes. Uh, you've chosen the name of Biggles. I'm going to make a new... Uh, profile specifically for the spirit of steam here. Uh, so Biggles will be the name of our driver. So thanks everyone that's voted with that. Thanks for subscribing as well. Uh, Yuridza Aditya. Uh, Henry Adel is here too. Two tons. John Padfield. Cup Ents as well. Christian said test. He had test work there. Hello Andy Mambo. Hope you're doing well. Annoyingly Train Sim World 3 has been released recently. Very unexpected. Yes, they release a new one every year, don't they, or something? But uh, yeah, I think the Spirit of Steam is only available in this sim. So, um, let's now jump into the game and I think I think I just press this. There we are. Uh, oh, no, this might continue from my previous profile now. I'm going to just back out here. I'm a professional streamer here. Let me just go back to the main menu because that's my test profile here. So let me just... Um, Switch profiles. There we go. So switch profiles. Are you sure you want to log out? Yes. We're going to make a brand new profile specifically for the Spirit of Steam campaign. We need to have someone that looks like Biggles. I think it's going to probably be most like the this guy. And oh, US rate. No, London Underground DB driver. How would a steam driver look like? Well, we'll go with this ultra casual look here. Doing the signals too? Absolutely not, John Patfield. I can't do that. Right, great profile. And as voted by you, the character will be called Biggles. There we are, confirm. There we are. So we've got a brand new profile. Start a new journey. Uh, and what we're going to do is follow all of these chapters in order. So it picks out a sort of uh, the best parts of the, the DLC. So it starts off, you know, introduction to the the train uh, we'll probably do as much as we can if you guys like it we'll do another stream and we'll just keep doing the chapters all the way here we've got some really tricky ones here talking about how to operate the boiler I think there's two different steam trains chapter 8 if we do get that far winter time and driving in the snow and all that difficult stuff to do I think it starts easy and then gets difficult so we're going to follow the introduction here uh, which I've, I've done these two already then I haven't done any of these and I think here you have no guidance with regards to how to get the train moving so I better listen carefully to the first two here and I actually failed this when I first tried it so let's jump on in to the introduction and go from there and see what happens this is going to be extremely amusing ah there we go we're in Welcome to Runcorn Station. Welcome. In this training module, we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Stania Class 8F steam locomotive One of those. in the DR Black livery. Follow the markers to the platform. So I've got my Xbox controller connected and defaults to running. There you are, you can see the, the train with some weird graphics going on in the middle. Hey, I was dressed as per the era, uh, mid 1930s, late 1930s, looking absolutely dapper and we're going to go past all here uh, I think you can actually jump onto the train line oh yeah <laughs> unwise <laughs> climb and then we need to cross over here <laughs> running with urgency and I think uh, that, that is that is our train that is the one we're going to drive it's so cool <laughs> nice garment sir and looking very very posh lady uh, here we go Stand on the platform and we wait for your that. train to arrive. 
He shall. This guy's looking very suspicious in his overcoat. Look at my train! Check it out! <laughs> Welcome to Alpaca Train Lights. That is a very black train. And this apparently is very realistic, this add-on. It's exactly how the steam train would have operated in real life as well. Today, ah! we'll be taking over a freight service bound for Ditton. So we're going to Ditton. I think it's based this in sort of, of Liverpool crew. Was built between 1935 and 1946 and was designed as a freight version of the highly successful Black 5 locomotive. There you go. Fact. Climb up onto the footplate to begin. We shall. So this is sort of like the introductory tutorial, sort of about how to drive it for the first time. Uh, beard, glasses and a dirty face. Absolutely Greg Scott. Let's open the door. Climb aboard. And yeah, look at this. This is ridiculous. Many switches and many buttons and everything works. And I don't have a fireman here. Uh, so let's take my comfortable seat. Ah, there we are. Let's prepare the locomotive for So departure. this is the tutorial. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. That's this one. Move the reverser into the full forward position. This ensures you'll get the maximum power to get the train. Maximum power, This locomotive Oops. has two types of brakes. I skipped it there. Steam and vacuum. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Vacuum brakes will apply on the rest of the train. Okay. So long as it is equipped with vacuum brakes. And I always use the big brake handle. Use the combination brakes to apply both types of brakes. So that's this one. Vacuum brakes are released when there is a vacuum in the system. To apply braking force, air is added back in by the driver using the combination. So this is brake. the only lever I've been using to brake. So let's uh, release the brakes. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, we use the ejector. Oh, God. The small ejector should be left open when the train is running. Okay. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy brake. Why is it closed then? Well, that's fully open and that's open increasing. The cylinder cocks to remove any water from cylinders after it has been left standing. Water in the and I need to do this every time you pull out the station. Oh, we're moving already. Ah. The regulator acts like the and this is the gas, the steam not the steam. It controls how much steam is delivered to the cylinders. Slowly open the regulator to apply power. Remember that power delivery. And that makes it go. Poof, poof. Can you hear it going now? We're, that we're moving. We are training. <laughs> Tokers in chat. Is it very loud in here? I think I need a bit more gas. Applying too much power too early can cause wheel spin. There we go, and I think I can close that next. I'll just follow the tutorial. Yeah, there we go. Set this to close, and that shuts it up. There we go. Now we're moving. We can open the regulator some more. How much? Full power! <laughs> we're starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser towards the mid gear. So I need to remember all this for future future uh, missions, because they won't remind you. So this now goes in the mid position. 50%. More efficient. And now I need to stop at 1.6 miles. And we'll follow the tutorial. Top speed is 55 miles an hour. Rotate, set thrust 50%, stabilise, toker. Oh my goodness me. Uh, and there we are, we're steam training. Now you can go hard mode and turn all that stuff off, but I will really struggle. There we go, look at that! It's cool! <laughs> like it. That's wicked. And this was the way to travel. I mean, this is the only way to travel back in the 30s and 40s. Flying was really for the very lucky, privileged few. And I think even travelling on train was expensive. So yeah, we, we're in Liverpool going to crew or vice versa or something. And jump back in here and I need the help mode on. So I've got a stop at 1.5 miles, so maybe I'll ease off the gas a little bit with steam. Um, and this is easy at the moment, because I obviously have the tutorial. The next one I think is a tutorial as well, and then that's it, you're on your own. Now, am I right in thinking that my fire stoker person is doing stuff here automatically? I think they're all basically managing the boiler for me, because the pressure's dropping off very quickly here. I'll turn off the gas now. Uh, where's my accelerator going? Let's just put that to 20%. Uh, top speed, approaching top speed there. Right, I'll turn off steam. I'll regulate it to close. We'll just let it roll now. So a bit downhill. Look. 
Wow, that's actually really quick. 55 miles an hour. Don't go too much. We're approaching the next stop. Let's prepare the train. Let's do that. So braking is that combination brake. Let's put a little bit of that on. Bring the train to a stop. Okay. We're speeding a little bit by a mile an hour. We've got 0.9. All right, I'm just going to leave the brake of 33 percent. Go from there. Look at the speed. 500. I think I can ease off the brake slowly. Oh yeah, I'm going to stop here. Right, where's the brake? Release. Oh, brake too hard, too early. Damn it. Well, better safe than sorry. Actually, probably not. I mean, 10 miles an hour. Approaching the state. No, too slow now. I need to keep some steam again. Uh, anyone getting buffering? Yeah, I got a bit of buffering. Uh, I think it is sorted now. Should I uh, just refresh the stream? Right, put a bit more steam on here because I've braked a little bit too hard. Check out these gauges down here. 12 miles an hour. I think this is just the first mission. So I've, I've already done this. Turn off the regulator. But the brakes seem to be quite quite good. I mean, I don't have a huge amount of carriages. I've only got about, what's that? A dozen carriages? Uh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Uh, this one. No, don't stop short, don't, sh don't stop short. Don't stop short, don't stop short, no! <laughs> Look at this, it is, it is pretty cool. I'm training. <laughs> there you go. Great work. Let's see how you did. I think full marks. Um, I think that's a gold, a gold medal. That's it, the first mission. There you are, look, gold star for Biggles' <laughs> chest. So that's it, that's just a nice, I've already done that one. It's a nice little introduction just how to operate it. The second one's a little bit more, I think it's a sort of showing you how to, to start and stop a bit more and I think you have to do some other stuff. So we'll do that. If you press continue, it'll basically just do the next mission in the chapter automatically. I know you can, Henry, you do see some shoveling on this one. So this one's like about signals, I remember now. So we'll listen in carefully because it talks about what the signals mean. Welcome to Ditton Junction. In this training module, we will learn how to read and react to semaphore signaling. Semaphore signaling. In the top right are the signal and speed Welcome on the display. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Green indicates that you are clear to pass the signal. That's only if I've got the HUD on. Yellow indicates that you can proceed, but with caution, as the next signal might be red, or there could be a hazard. And I think that's the same as the modern train signals, isn't it? Red indicates that you should stop. And no, should not can you keep the strict timetable set for by your employer, Jow? Unbelievable. Some of these displays can be hidden by other settings yeah, no. for a more challenging experience. Yeah, I'm not ready for that challenge. <laughs> now let's take a look at some of the signals we'll see on this line. Right. There are two principal classes of signals. I should be making notes. Home and starter signals. These are mandatory and an approaching driver must stop if the signal easy. displays a danger aspect. Okay. Distant signals. These are a warning. Uh, Liam, yep, same as the current signal system. Excellent. Displaying a caution aspect, but must be prepared to stop at the following signal. Right. The signal in front of you is currently displaying a danger aspect. That means the line ahead is not clear, and you must wait. Well, I guess that's because this train's moving. So I think you have to wait a short while, and then does that go up or down? And then you get a green light as well. This has to be the loudest train on earth. Steam everywhere. And thank goodness for Jim, who is shoveling coal into my boiler. Oh, there we go. Look, it's gone green. 
The signal in front of you has now cleared. However, the next distance signal could display caution, meaning that the following signal will be displaying a danger aspect. Okay. Right, then this one does tell you what to do. It's the next one that doesn't, so we're going to remember to do this. So reverse it to forward. Release the brakes. Welcome out of trim. Uh, open the small ejector. Stay vigilant and keep an eye out for the next signal. That's releasing the brakes. Maybe we'll start rolling. Oh, we need to get a bit of power first. Not too much, otherwise it will wheel spin. Don't I need to? No, that still stays open. I think we need to get all the water out. Yeah, so you can see all the water being pushed out of the pistons. I think that's what that is. Yeah, we're training again. Oh, we need 25%. It was. Ah, quietness. There we are. There we are. Now we set the cocks. See, guys, you've got to remember all this for the next one because we won't have any guidance. Fully open. Remember, you can always just look see the, the steam pressure dropping. Look. Unsure what the next signal is. Yep, I will definitely be doing that. Hold S to remove the. Oh yeah, that wants to be now at forward 50. Now I don't understand what that's for. Like, it's apparently it's more efficient use of steam. Okay, stop in 4.4 miles. That's it, we're, we're training, we're steam training. Same principle, just not semaphores anymore in most places. Uh, Python, hello boss, this is a bit like an Airbus. <laughs> I don't think you can get any further, further away from the Airbus. So, right now, tutorials help me greatly, but the next one, as I mentioned, I'll be on my own, trying to remember which one of these to move. And that's, this is with uh, the fireman managing the boiler. Now, I get, what happens if the boiler pressure goes all the way to zero? I mean, if it goes too high, I guess it'll blow up, won't it? I guess there's some sort of pressure valve which stops that from happening. Is it nine? Oh, there we go. As you can see, there is our train. So I'll keep it full steam ahead. You stop. <laughs> Where's the flyby? Ah, yes. Oh, no. Oh, I've actually, no, I've accidentally... Slight brakes. Oh, yes. No pressure equals train, no go. Feels like the 742. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> right, there we go. Almost 40 miles an hour. Now what does this all mean? Now pressure's dropping quite quickly, I don't want to drop too much. But I need to keep I want to get up to uh, sort of 50 miles an hour. Green for go. Uh, if the pressure's too low, there's not enough steam pushing the piston so you don't move. And how do you keep the pressure high? Just basically keep shoveling in coal. Closing up all the gaps. So that V going down means it's dropping, and when it goes up, it's there. But I think if I close the regulator now, or, or if I close it, look, you can see that the pressure does rise quite quickly. So I guess you're just going to manage power. So I've just closed the regulator, but obviously because we're going uphill, we're slowing down. Ah, and you can see, look, the blower and stuff is automatically being moved. So that's the fireman doing his thing. So fine. Right, I'll just leave it at full power. There's loads of cold water to make steam. God, it must have been hard work. 2.9 miles to go, and there's the signal up with green. That is good to go. Oh, God, can't see. What am I carrying? British. Oh, it says British Airways. Oh no, British Railways. <laughs> Load four tons of tar. Tear? No, I mean that's just I don't know. Standard carriage stuff. 
Still green, I'm still steaming ahead, but look at my pressure getting low. Come on, Jim, keep, keep getting that coal in the boiler. Oh, right, this one's good. The next, this is the only two I've done. After this, I'm a little bit stuck. I think after this, I have to stop and then reverse or something. Can't remember. Look at that, I've got full power, but I'm just holding the speed on this incline. God, yeah, that'd be fresh air, wouldn't it? Can you imagine how loud and hot, dirty this would have been? Flyman's name is Nigel then. <laughs> what are you doing down there? You right? <laughs> He's broken down. Morris Spider. Oh, my boiler pressure. What's this one? It is better to have a point of equilibrium between the regulator and the reverser so that the pressure doesn't drop fast. I trust I have that equilibrium right now with, with 50 on my reverser and, and full on the regulator. Maybe I should take a little bit off the regulator. I've seen we're actually about 42 and we do need to stop soon. Let me, let me take a little bit off here. Ah, yes, that's going to help the pressure rise. BRB's British Railways board. Ah. Interesting. Now we have a flat one. It spec down goods. It's a deserted railway station here. What, is there any of this, any examples of this steam train left? Operating in the world. The needle that's wobbling is the steam chest pressure. It's pressure inside the cylinders. Ah, okay, so I see when I put the regulator open and, and I leave the station, it starts going and that moves. One mile to go. So let's ease off the regulator now. Anything else I could be doing? 0.9. Ooh, 15 miles an hour and 600 yards. Uh oh. Uh, brakes. Coming hot. 300 yards. Ah, it's slowed down to 15 miles an hour. 200 yards. How on earth would I have known that? Ah, oh, many signals. 200 yards. Oh, I'm coming in a little bit hot here. 100 yards. Ah, I'm speeding. Don't derail. Don't derail. Don't derail. Ah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to get minus points for this. I'm not going to get a gold badge. Right, I've released the brakes, so I'll just let it roll now at 15 miles an hour. Whoops. How would I have known it was 15? No, I didn't see any signage. Thanks, heads up display. And you can see, look, my steam's building. So when the steam gets to 225, how, do, how does the fireman manage that? How do they get it to stop at 225? Chugging. It's so cool. Energy management, yeah, not very good there. And there's a large steam train that still runs around occasionally near me in the western US, Colorado. I think it's mostly for historical interest, but they run it pretty good distance for at least hundreds, if not a thousand miles once or twice a year. Very cool. Right, coming up to the stop point. Maybe I've timed this perfect to perfection. I've just ta taken the gas off, or the steam off. There's a few safety valves on top of the boiler that blow off and release extra steam at that point. Ah. Well, apart from the speeding excursion, I think my energy here is good. Start applying the brake. Or have I done it too early? Oh, get out of here! Oh, 
<laughs> I already done my trains. <laughs> Get out of here. The brakes are actually quite effective, but I think that's probably because I don't have a very big train. There we go. Oh, oh no! <laughs> this wheel spinning! <laughs> Less power. All sorts of sparks coming off there. Ah, come on, grip, grip, grip. <laughs> I got need less. Perfect. <laughs> Unbelievable. Great work. That's everything. That's it. Module. So that's this is as far as I've gone before, guys. We're now going into the missions, and I had a quick look at this, and yeah, yeah, I'm on my own. So you need to help me now. Remember how to do everything. So we've done the semi for signal signaling introduction now if i go back uh, or press continue that's chapter one done we're now to chapter two i think and this is it this is me on my own there's a story behind it. it'll tell you what to do otherwise we are we are driving so we've got to drive the branch freight service from distant junction to specky junction press begin it's green a and now i'm trading um so, get my popcorn ready. Um, your route knowledge obtained when you learn the route will help you drive smoothly and safely. Route knowledge can be obtained by either riding on the job or watching videos which you believe. Oh my goodness. Well, my two training videos on Train Sim World 2, hopefully they'll suffice. So, first things first, I think I had to put that fully forward. I need to open... No, and that needs to be open. I need to close the small injectors. Open the small injector. Is it open? I think it was. Open the large injector? Oh no! I think it's open that one. Close that one. Is there a sand button? Yeah, there is a sand button and there's... Oh! Oh, hi Jim! Oh, oh uh, Jim Elena, I should say. <laughs> we got Jim Elena here. Excellent. Surprise, surprise. Um... I'll open this a little bit and release the brake. I feel like I've missed something. It's something to do with here. Oh, no, no, no. Things are increasing. So that one's fully open. That one stays closed. <gasps> I'm trading! I'm steaming! <laughs> trading without doing anything. Oh, yes. No. D oh. oh. Blast. Why is it stopped? Maybe it's taking up the slack of all the carriages. Let's get a little bit more. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I've used the blower. That's all I needed, two tutorials. Is the boiler about to explode? Well, no, because <laughs> Jim Elena's looking outside, keeping an eye out. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, I need to now close this. There we go. And then don't make me forget I need to open that when we're... St when we stop to make sure the water comes out of the cylinders. This is a piece of cake. Piece of cake. I just realised my logo is sort of blocking the gauges. I'll move that. Oh, I'll just get rid of it. There we go. Right, uh, so now I can go fully open that regulator. And we're on our way. Now, this is a go via, so don't stop. I'm just got to keep an eye on the signals. so far. Uh, 0.8 miles, green signal. This is where I get confused. How do you know which signal it is? Because there's two. That one says stop. And that one says go. So how do I know it's not that one? Looks like your brake was slow to release. Okay. So there's the first go via location. I think this is just a simple one here, but I think I'm okay. I don't think I've forgotten anything major. I'm just leaving it full, full steam ahead. Oh yep, yeah. reverse reverse to 50 to be more efficient with the steam. Thank you. I don't know how on earth that works, but I've done that. Thank you, Yankee Fox. So far, so good. 
So every the first train sim world stream we did was in that huge cargo train. We had a nightmare. It was like a hundred carriages long, and I was basically doing 120 miles an hour and 30 mile an hour, so I couldn't control it. But this is this is going well. Imagine how much they had to learn to be able to operate these trains. Yeah, I mean, be a lot of training and, and hard, but not only that, hard work. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> I better bring that head up because I need this. I don't know why the chat box is behind you. There, chat should be coming up now. Uh, need a lot of train training, we do. Uh, whistle, maybe. Where on earth is the whistle? What's the button for the whistle? Keep shoveling, Jim. Stop in 3.5 miles, okay. Red signal coming up. It says green on my thing. Oh, look at this, this is uphill again. Oh, my goodness. Um, how do I whistle? Is it W? No, that's reverse. Uh, is it the like to pull up on here or something like that? <gasps> oh, superb! I've learned to use the whistle. H is also the button for that, but it doesn't matter, I failed to switch. <laughs> Superb. Right, three miles to stop. This is uncharted train sim world territory. Here comes another steam train. That's superb. He's carrying uh, freight as well. I mean, they're not slow, are they? I mean, 14. I don't know what the top speed of this is. Space is the horn. Thank you. This is excellent. <laughs> Robert, how much did the bundle cost? Uh, I can't remember. I, I bought it a while back, but I just haven't had time to stream. I, I don't know, is it a huge amount? It's called... Um, something Steam. Oh, it's in the video description. When we get the alpaca rail service. Right, let's lay off the regulator slightly to save some more steam pressure. Let's go to about 70%. I think I'm pretty pleased so far. Whistle cheap. doing about 40. We've got to stop in 1.8 miles. We've got a 15 mile an hour speed limit and 1.3 miles. We'll try not to bust it this time. Robert, well, did you hear of the weather and environment improvement they will release in the future with snow and so on? In this sim or x <laughs> I think it already has snow, doesn't it? Well, it's certainly a, a level with snow on, on steam. Blade, no idea. I have no idea. I don't know what Trade Sim World 3 has when this doesn't. Get another abandoned station. Right, 0 0.9 miles till the speed limit, so I think we should ease off the regulator. Let it roll. So the blower gets. So, how, how do I know it's a 15 mile an hour speed limit if I was playing like this? Well, it's very like said, root knowledge, isn't it? Oh, amber. Be careful, I can't remember. 900 yards till 15 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm still going to break on. Everything's a little bit delayed. So, it reduces the vacuum pressure. Let's see if I've timed this 15 mile an hour speed a little better this time. Imagine doing this at night, yeah, at night, in the fog, in the 
rain and the snow in the winter. Horrific. Oh, look at this speed control. A little early, perhaps. 70 or 60. Why are we still. I think we've done that quite well. It was better safe than sorry. 13 miles an hour is a little slow. Jimothy is really shoveling that coal in. You keep that pressure up. Oh, I've got a red stop here, so I do need to stop that location. Watch the speed. It's a bit downhill here. So we'll close that, though, because the gradient's downhill. Oh! 60 yards, 15 miles an hour. Yes, yeah, not going to derail this time! 60. Break on. There we go, release. This is this is very fun. This is it's very rewarding to, to sort of have the ability to do something that was the peak of technology eighty years ago in your PC. Six hundred yards to go. Robert, you saw Blue Game streaming at beta in an ICE one, one hour ride. Really nice. That's the German train. Haven't I got an ICE on this one? Oh, still 500 yards. To oh, look at that. I can actually just see the slope change there. Right, is there anything... Do I need to leave that at 50 or do I go back to 75 now? We're driving slowly. Oh, we need to get ready to stop anyway. Ooh, many steam noises. Oh, is that the boiler? That noise, is that the boiler releasing the pressure when it gets to 225? Like the maximum pressure. Maybe that's like a pressure relief valve. That, would someone be able to uh, confirm that? I need to make list of insure. I need to make you moderators on this channel. It is. Oh my god, I've learned something new. Break. It is stop here. Ah, superb. And that's why I always hit the station, is because the pressure's at the maximum there. Objective complete! Oh, now... Oh, you made me stop, and now I need to go forward again. Right. <laughs> Release! Uh, let's put that back to 75. I better just open that to get some of the steam out of the piston. I, I, I guess. Yeah, that will do. Oh no, I'll leave it open for a bit longer. So, uh, I think I'm wheel spinning. Yeah, I'm wheel spinning. No, look at the sparks. Right, I think I've got too much regulator on here. It's downhill, so it should be. Oh, it's still spinning. Do I need to put some sand down? God, look at it. <laughs> Whistle make it go quicker. There we are. Now it's got some traction. So cool. Too much horsepower. <laughs> so I've got to stop again. Ah. Okay. I think this might be the one where you need to then reverse. So I think you go forward. And then reverse. I was reading about them here. Welcome aboard a row. Nice stop I know, Johnny. A trained professional here. Oh, now I know what that hissing is. It's the the relief valve. That's so cool. So actually, over pressure, you don't really have to worry about because it'll always ma it'll always manage it. Brilliant. Good. You gotta hope that doesn't block.
hoping it turn. There we go. Someone's doing the signals in for us. I love all the period buildings though, and the cars. So cool. It was considered bad practice to have the safety valve blowing. Oh really? How did they manage it then, Liam? I am generally curious. Wait, why is the chat box all green? Ah, uh, break, 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 I'm looking. Uh, too far, too far, too far. Uh, hopefully it won't... Oh, I wasn't concentrating. Hopefully it, it'll do it. With the carriages, at least. Yes, it has. So this is... The, I think I need... I think I now need to reverse. Which I haven't done. Um... Right, yeah, so I think we need to go backwards to park these carriages. Right, I just need to remember two is to... Yeah, because I have to use that one. Right, let's try and work this out. So I'll open that to get rid of the water in the cylinder. We'll close that. We've got the brakes on. So I think I guess I need to put this back. Okay. Uh, and then bit of this, release the brake, no, oh no they're still releasing the brakes, no it's not moving, how do I go backwards, uh, backwards, oh close that. Aha! I guess it's not so efficient with that. Ooh! Uh, maybe it's something to take up with the carriage. Oh, I'm wheel spinning. Oh, many... Oh, I'm falling down! It's a, it's a down slope as well. Maybe I need less... Less steam. Oh, dear. Oh, it's stopping. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. A little bit of wheel spin still. There we are. It's taking the load. Maybe a little bit more regulator now. That's it. Checking backwards as well. Well done. There we go. Now we're trucking. Or training. It was less power, yes. That's the ticket. Right. Moving the chat box slightly. Okay. There we go. So now we've got to be careful to watch the back end of the train. Now, how would this have worked in real life? Would there have been someone... They wouldn't have radios back then, did they? Well, maybe they did in the mid-30s. Oh, I don't want to go too fast here, because I don't want to smash into any sidings or anything. And your firewoman judges your driving style in silence. <laughs> she just keeps shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sorry, right, I need to stop there. Look, there's our marker. Where's my free cabin? There we go. There we are, reversing. What did they call that one? Look, it's like a room. Detail's really good. What am I carrying? Like, timber, I think. Right, 
Right, I'm guessing the signal's all been sorted automatically. The last one would be the guard's van. Ah. Tin cat and string between the carriages. Unbelievable. Guard's van in the UK. What was it in the US then or other countries? Right, well, I think I'm going to take off the steamer here. The regulator to zero. God, how did you do this? Yeah, look, there's... Uh, things there, so I've got to be really careful here. I think, oh, hold on, I, my Xbox controller, I've got the commands for the regulator and brake. So, ah, so I, I can, should be able to do this without looking in the cab. Sort of cheating, I know. Maybe I should be in the, in the cab view, but <laughs> this one's easier. I'll open up the regulator slightly. There we go. Oh no, ah no, the buttons are all over the place. Whoa, steady. Regulator closed. The brake van. Oh, really? Right, I've got no... The regulator's off, so I'm just going to have to control the brakes here. With this trigger, okay. A caboose in the US. A caboose? What's the origin of that name? Where does caboose come from? Right, I'm going to try and brake now. I've got the combination brake assigned to my Xbox controller. Yeah, look, you really don't have much room for error here. Brakes are on. Released. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop yet. That's it. Roll, 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 roll. No, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh! They can see that the trains all shoved it on there, right? Brakes! Brakes, 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 full application. Yes! Objective completed! <laughs> I did one without a tutorial. Yes! Superb! And a gold medal. Well done, Biggles. Superb. Right. There we go. Next. Now, is there a way of actually... I just want to briefly go to the menu to make sure we're doing these in the correct order. I think we're just shoving cargo around here. So if I just go here to um, menu briefly, I just want to make sure it's doing it all there. Oh, <laughs> some advertising. So continue journey, let off some steam. See, look, we've done, we've finished chapter one and we've done the first one of chapter two. So we need to do these ones now. These are all freight trains. Chapter three, I think, is we learn how to refuel the train. And then there's some other express stuff, Northampton. Edge Hill. So let, let's do, let's just carry on from the story. Has anyone seen Tim? I think he's ran off po uh, Pokey. <laughs> 0321 Short Railroad historian David L. Jocelyn has traced a possible route of caboose to the obsolete low German word caboose, a small cabin erected on a sailing ship's main deck. <laughs> Every day's a learning day. Hmm. Right then, so I've got to take the freight from clock face co is it colloroy colory S to spec junction begin oh it's raining oh so look at this oh, i'm uh, look at all the coal i'm carrying as well i want to have a little look at the train first hold on let me Look at this station and look at all this coal and all these people here to observe my co oh my god look how long it is Oh my, that's almost twice as long as before. Look at all this coal I'm carrying. Right, in we go. So go via location. The signal is green. So reverse it to full. There is... Oh, Jim, we now do have Jim. Jim is back on board. Shoveling coal in. Uh... It's fully open. Yeah, it should be fully open. Yeah, that should be fully open. That should be open at this stage. Release the brakes. There we are, already going, and it's wet. 
Uh, look, I've already got wheel spin because the, the... Oh, my goodness me. 5%? Track soaking wet. My brakes are off and I've got 5%. I think I need to give it a little bit more here. 7% maybe? We ain't moving. Sand at the ready then. Oh, is this where I need to use the sand? Sander. Rear? Front? Gauge glass drain. Oh my god, this is stuff I don't know. Right, I'm, I'm sanding everywhere. Front rear. My brakes are off. Let's just go straight to wheel spin. Uh oh. <laughs> Help. Can someone give us a shove? Lock piston. Nine percent. I've got wheel spin. Always sand in the direction you're going. All right. Well, I've got zero traction here. And it's uphill as well. Even at five percent, it's spinning. All right. Where's that sand thing? Sand front. Oh, guys, we're <laughs> a little bit, a little bit stuck here. Seven percent. Jim got demoted from FO to shoveling coal. <laughs> what did he do to deserve that? <laughs> he failed his last sim check. Oh, guys, we are struggling here. Our regulator needs to be at least open a bit. 11%? Oh, did I see movement? <gasps> oh, it is moving really slowly. Come on! <laughs> We're struggling here. Guy, it's probably. I don't, is it taking up the slag, the garages? I'd say that's moving. Come on! Come on! The rear carriage is completely stationary. Oh, straight into wheel spin. Oh, it was going so well. Uh, chocks open. Right. Right, I've opened up my chocks. I've got my sander still on, front. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, 11%, it seemed to be moving slowly, but any more than that is off. Done all my ejectors. Brakes are off. It's not one of these glitched missions where it's just impossible. Send the cocks open and a bit more power. Okay. They're open. A little bit more power. It's 11% at the moment. 15%. And it just goes straight to wheel spin. Not good. So eleven percent. Spinning eleven percent now. Let's try that sander again. Front or rear? Front. Let's try a little bit more power with the sand on. 15%. Come on! This has got to start moving. Try a little bit more power because it's not doing anything. 18%. Oh dear, guys. Which way are we supposed to go? Forward. That's fully forward. 
It's not doing anything now. The regulator up to 20%. Not even getting any wheel spin. What's this? Is this bad? Why is that gauge really high? Have I have my things locked? I hope my sensors haven't locked or anything. Jim, I need I need some suggestions here. I, th I think of the cylinders jammed, look, so I've got the regulator, but uh, it's not doing anything now. Have I broken it? Oh, no, look, there you go, the pressure's dropping now. Right, let's try again. Oh, no, go straight to the red line. This is a coal shopping simulator. Why have I got a broken train? What have I done? Full power? No. It's struggling here a lot. Oh. I don't like the fact it stopped hissing. Jim is just shoveling coal like it's the end of the world. I don't like the lack of hissing. <laughs> oh dear. I think that's because I was using... Right. This steam train is AOG. Um, I need to get the MEL out and <laughs> see if we can depart. Right, maybe reset the mission? Uh, I'm not getting much help in chat here. Chat. Maybe, maybe I'll open this. Closed. I don't like how this is not going pff, pff, like puffing. It's not puffing anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Is that movement? I'd say that's moving. Oh, closing, opening that is not good. Closing it, it's moving very, very, very slowly forward. I might put too much sand down. Yeah, I've had that open the whole time, haven't I? Where is the sand? I can't find it now. Um, hmm. Where is the sand blower? Oh, I can't find the sand. There it is. I mean, I'm zooming in here, and we are very, very, very slowly moving forward, and there's the wheel spin. At least I've not broken it. Why won't that move forward? Can anyone look up this mission online, see if it's broken? Because I remember it because just because we did a train sim world once and it was actually broken out of the box. It's uh, called... What is the... Uh, well, I don't know what it's called. The Branch Freight Clock Face Colliery from Spec Junction. See if it actually works. Is the combination brake on? No, the bricks are off. Combination brake released. Vacuum brake? Where's that? I don't know. Gauge, glass, isolating, clock. The blower. The... Oh, it's, it's sort of... So, it's, it's just wheel spinning and I've got the regulator at. Oh, this is hard. 6%. What, you're broken. Be patient when it's moving. Try letting it move for a minute before applying a little bit more power. The thing is, it's not even moving, I'm at 5% of it, it's just wheel spinning. Oh, it's wheel spinning still now, but it's like, it is trying. Look, wee! Thank you. 
There you go. So as soon as that pressure builds up, it just spins. <gasps> oh, oh, it was moving again, but it just seems to be. Okay, can't see anything online about this one being broken. So as soon as that pressure builds up in the cylinder, it then just builds up and then just wheel spins. Maybe I'll try rear sander. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Cinder chocks open. They're open now, but when I lasted that, it didn't move. And then when I closed it, I could see it was moving forward slowly. Now it's completely stationary. I, I, it's like I really want to get it done. I've got the regulator really high again, and it's not puffing. Okay, push back about a wagon leg. Okay, let's go backwards. Let's close that. Let's put this in backwards. Let's see if it goes backwards. Oh, it goes backwards easily. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Take up that slime. No. It was. Uh... This guy on YouTube has manually released the vacuum brakes on the carriages. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I think this has a problem, this game, of sometimes telling you not to. It does basically. The tutorial misses all those steps. And then it doesn't tell you what to do. How do I... Now how do I do that? Do I have to go to all of these... Things? Thanks. Thanks, DTL. Uh, uh, why did I say DTL? Oh, I mean, that's a problem. <laughs> I think dovetail, that's what I was trying to say. So how do I take these... Brakes off, then? No! Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Ah! Mm. Run very quickly. I have just disconnected my train <laughs> and it seems to be leaving without me. <laughs> that was not the button to do that. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> well, thanks for your help, Jim. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! <laughs> Right, let's. Uh, I think I might be fired. Right, the sander off. Right, we're not failing this mission. <laughs> right, release the brake. Right, excellent. Coming back. <laughs> well, at least he's got it moving now. Jim is just shoveling coal, completely unaware of what's going on behind. Yeah, gravity. So I just need to get that extra weight. Yeah. Oh, that was that was bad. <laughs> oh, I'm going to slam into these carriages here as well. Let me just break a little bit. Right, I am succeeding in this. I just need to remember my buttons now. Release the brakes. I'm just going to ram into that car carriage. Oh, now I'm wheel spinning downhill. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yes, the brake was on the orange red carriage in the middle. Well, thanks, Dovetail. Oh! Okay, I guess that doesn't attach. Right, let me just back up a little bit more, make sure it's connected. Alright, close. There we go. Right, right, we just got to remember to connect those now. Let me just put my brake on this time. <laughs> right, you keep shoveling, Jim. I'll be back. Regulators close. Right, uh, jumping up. Unbelievable. 
don't mind me, everyone. <laughs> right, firstly, we've got to connect these carriages up. Uh, aha! Right, how do I... Right, they're coupled. And where am I going to now? Is there there's some with some brakes on? No wonder this train wasn't moving. Run for it, not gonna lie. Nothing to see. Yeah, okay. The brake was on the orange red carriages in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five around here. How do, how do I find this brake? See, he had no information about this from, from the devs. The wagons have brakes on them, only the engine in the rear wagon, the brake van have brakes. So the brake van needs to be released. Ah, oh, we've got to go all the way to the brake van, do I? This is not safe. <laughs> There's a square box near the woods. Well, let me check the brake van. I'm going to get run over here. Oh, no, climb up. Right. Handbrakes released in here. Close the door because it's going to rattle in the wind and break, and I'll get fired. It's a square box near the wheels. Okay. On everyone? Or. Or just one in particular? <laughs> this, is, this is. Not easy. No, do you want to give up the control? No, I can do it. Just bear with me. Handbrake released. Have I got to check check every single one of these? Handbrake released. Handbrake released. Oh, okay. I think they're all released, aren't they? Okay, just the just the red ones. They all look released. <laughs> I'm gonna be very late. Let me just. This can't be safe. Right, I'll ch the white levers. Yes, or is it? This all mentioned a box. It was called vacuum pump, not handbrake. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I can't see any other brake. Can I release all the coal? That'd be quite funny. It's actually called slow line, yeah, especially when I'm taking part. Oh dear. Right, where's this other vacuum? So there's the handbrake. Just the red ones. Where is this? For? Some sort of about a box in the middle? Oh, what was that click spot? No, that's the door. Square box near the wheels. Oh, I see that box here. What are you looking at? He was down. He was down trying. This is the. This is like the puzzles in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I'm getting this train moving. Whether it's the death of it, I. I just I don't know what to do. Is anyone else watching a YouTube or so on finishing this mission then? And they managed to take some breaks off. Oh, Freckles, I've played this scenario before and I couldn't get the brakes released um, at all. I had to give up in the end. I think it's bugged. Look at the other side of the wagons. Okay. Jim's still shoveling. This is extremely safe. But I'm so going to get run over. I appreciate your stubbornness. <laughs> I want to... Clearly they've tested it. And they've done this mission, surely. But I know that in Train Sim World 2 with the cargo train one, it was bugged, one of those missions. What's this? Climb what? Climb under? 
Ooh. Oh, I, li <laughs> I like it. Oh, now, I now I'm completely stuck. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm, guys, I'm running out of ideas. John, yeah, I'm watching it. He went both sides of the red freight cars and searched around a bit. There was a thing called the vacuum brakes, and he released them. It's just like you wandering around on a runway. It's the white-handled lever. I've, I've done that one, John. That was the handbrake. Which are all released. But I can't see any vacuum pump. I can see the... The, the manual coupling. Oh, this is... This is... Oh my goodness me. Go to the very back. No, I am not giving up yet. Uh, oh my goodness me. Go inside the brake van. I've been there already. I've done that and checked the handbrake. Unless there's a vacuum pump business in here. Furnace? Oh, pff. Yeah, I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> I like how it does a match scratching. So it's literally someone's job to sit in that seat and turn that wheel. <gasps> Oh No, it's off already though. Vacuum brake off. Oh. Well that okay, well well that's off. Or does that need to be on? Maybe the vacuum fully applied. No. God damn it. Or does that need to be You don't have 21. Eureka, uh, Eureka. Well, right, I'm going to try one more time. But that thing was already off. Let's try one more time. Because it went backwards very easily. It's just this incline it's really struggling with. So maybe I could roll backwards until it's a little bit flatter then go. Because I think once I've got, got it moving, I think we're, we're away, aren't we? There's a screenshot in Discord, right? I need to check this out, guys. Hold on. <clears throat> Have I been tagged in it? Uh, live stream. Aha! Vacuum. Ah! Vacuum brake release. Thank you. There's other entertaining streamers available. No, I am not giving up. I am not giving up. Let me climb under like a... Yes. Okay, let's look at that picture. So... I will, fi I will find you. Looking at this picture in detail. It's around around here somewhere, but is it only on certain carriages? Oh, I'm trying to look at this picture so it's where you've got it. To Are you ridiculous? Are you joking? Vacuum pump release. Oh, for goodness sake. How on earth are you meant to find that if you've played this for the first... I have no words for the developers. Is that just that one there? I can't even see what I moved. Vacuum pump release. And it's right in the on the right hand side. Let's just try this one here. Is that every train carriage or just that one? What a ridiculous... 
they need to update this. We're not all steam train drivers. What was that? Oh, no, it's handbrake. Right, I've released that one here. It doesn't seem to be on it. You've got to do that on every carriage. Vacuum pump release. That one's released. No, I am doing this. And, and it's not on every carriage. Or is it released? You're meant to do this on every carriage. Isn't there? Is there a command to quickly release all of them? <laughs> oh, there we go. I've missed. I've missed some carriages. And <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> this is infuriating. There it is. There's some I've missed, and some. And is it on all these ones, or just the red ones? Now that's exil oh, <laughs> exhilarating gameplay. <laughs> I just want to tip coal on the railway in protest. I can't find a click spot on this one. Right, I, and, and I presume these ones are fine. Walked your first mile. Yeah, <laughs> well done. Oh, right. I've, well, I've, I've missed some carriages. I'm sort of like... Oh, there, there's one. You can't. You can't even see it. That's so bad. I can't. I. I. Vacuum pump. There's what I hadn't released. Look. So basically, it's like I can't even see what it is I'm moving. Oh, it's look. It's that cable. See that cable move? Look, it's like a tire. Released. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this quality content, guy. <laughs> he does seem to do everyone. Oh my goodness me! No, just go away. Uh, let me watch the video line pod plays. I'll let you know. Just the red ones. Check gauge and brake van again. Is the brake handle under the car near the bogies? Uh, released. Thanks for subscribing, Blues 1989. The only person to have ever subscribed or someone's trying to find brake release handles on a train carriage. So, it feels like I've not done any of them. Right, I am absolutely going to drive the pants off this train and I'm never doing this mission again. Where is it? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Hold on, when I do that, is it staying? No, hold on. Released, and I let go, it goes back to... Oh, this could have been a waste of time. Oh, I this is just... I'm just going to go in the train one more time and see if that's done anything. Release, <laughs> release parking brake. This is just... Oh! There must be a, a command to do that quickly. I mean... <laughs> you, you keep going, Jim. Let me just look at the menu here. Control guide. What's it called again? I'm just pressed here. I, d I don't even know what it was. Vacuum. Release all brakes. But there's no guidance on that. I would never have worked that out on my own. There's a way of searching controls. Wipers. Shuffle call. Any key. I don't think I've done it anyway. I don't think this is done correctly. Dynamic brake. Cylinder drains. Cruise control. Coupler. I'll just... Well... If anyone could look up the vacuum brake command, that would be appreciated. Right, let's try one more time. I've, I've done a, a few things. 
forward 75%. Keep shoveling. Release the brakes. Well, would you look at that? Oh, is it just taking up slack at the moment? I think we're doing it guys. I think we're training. Come. Come. Now I've got a race signal though. I can't go anywhere. Have I been taking so long to do this mission? Service failure. Signal passed at danger. Oh! Right, is there a <laughs> is there a quick release? I'm not going to release all of those goddamn brakes again. Fired. <laughs> I've got no words. All that for nothing. I know, Tutan. That is just infuriating. Right, I'm just quickly looking up online here um, how to quickly release the vacuum brakes. Uh, T S W. To release vacuum brake command. Uh, vacuum brake is principle. Blah, blah 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 blah. I don't know. I don't care how it works. I just want it to work. Ah. Right. I think it because I took so long the signal just went red. Well, I, I need to. I need to do that brake thing, don't I? It's not going to work. Right, I'll be back, Jim. I need to be quick as well. Right, quick, quick, quick. You shouldn't have to do anything except use controls in cab. Oh, but someone did this mission and had to take all those brakes off, though. And it's. I guess that's that side, isn't it? Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> oh, this has been the worst thing ever. How do I jump? How do I... Oh. <laughs> I'm not stuck. I can't actually get out. Oh. oh, how do I restart? <laughs> Welcome to train jail. <laughs> I'm finishing this mission when it's the death of me. I basically spent half this stream trying to work out how to get this god, -fang god thing moving in this mission. Uh, get me off this thing. Right, I'm not going that way again. Yes, hit away. I don't like steam trains. Right, these ones I think are all done. Just take the brakes off. I did that Adam Fox though uh, last time. I I'll, I'll I'll try again, just in case it was a weird thing in the mission. But but someone said they had to watch another video of someone doing it, and they had to go out and turn all the brakes off on all the carriages. I mean, I'll try it. I mean, what's the command for all the brakes off in, in the? Uh, train sim world release all brakes. Something like that. <clears throat> Tire racing sources to be challenging. Oh, I, I know. Where's the. Where? Can't you search commands here? Dynamic break, emergency break. All brakes. I want all brakes released. <laughs> this is it is hideous.
the war will have ended <laughs> by the time you get moving. I've done all that, end of mania. I've done all that. It just won't move because of this break thing. Right, what I'm going to try and do then is do the same again. Go forward. Uh, large ejector closed. Small ejector's already fully open. The Cinecox are open. Regulator to 10. And then we'll close the release the combination brake. Oh, but in my seat, that's why I can't see any commands. So but the problem is these brakes are on. So I need to maybe if I turn the brakes off whilst it's like this and if it starts moving, I can just quickly run up. Key combination brakes release. Now I think I have to do what this guy did on that video online then. So look, everything's set for it to go. It should be moving now. 100% should be moving. No, I don't want to sit down anymore. Open large injector. Really? No, that needs to be closed. The brakes are on. No, I don't want to sit... Look, how do I get out of the seat again? Thank you. Right. Let me just go turn those brakes off like what I did last time. Hopefully the signal won't change. Uh, let's see if it does it now if I start releasing these brakes. Getting conflicting information in chat. Released. <laughs> this could be futile, but... The train could quite possibly start moving, so maybe I should start at the back. You moved when you opened the large injector. Are you sure? I've done all that already, though. And we just wheel spinned. And I think it's because all these brakes are on. Which is in the most ridiculous click spot ever. Oh, okay. Please let the train leave without you. I'm mowing, I've done that already. I've already did that. You can also press Control Zero to go to the back of the train. Yeah, but that's only the camera view. Right, well, let's try again, but I. We're just going to repeat what happened last time, where by the brakes are applied on the carriage, or the, on the train carriages. Right. I I I am stubbornly going to keep doing this until we actually complete it. Right. So you said open the large injector. That's not doing anything. Large injector isn't controlling your go, is it? It always says keep that closed. And then keep the small injector. No, not yet. This is what colours the signal. Still green. Yeah, just it's just doing the same, guys. Yeah, so if you if you missed the start of this, guys, we've done all this already, and then someone's actually looked at someone completing this mission and they said they couldn't go and they had to go outside to the other carriages to turn off all the brakes on all of them so you know on all that we've just done this is the, f the fourth mission we've done it we've done everything exactly the same uh, as before but I think what we've got to do is oh no I've just done that again haven't I you stupid boy oh. right right this is the last time we're trying to do this I'm gonna get this thing going. Ah! What? Yeah, but you can tell that those brakes are on. Those brakes are on those carriages. I mean, if you just think about how it's moved, like it went forward, and something's holding this train back. It moved on its own, and it's the fact it's these um, brakes are on these characters. It has to be. Just look how it moved forward. Move forward about 
I don't know, seven, eight feet there. And now it's just stopped. It's like something is resisting the movement of this train. And it's got to be the carriages with the brakes on. It has to be. Right, let me... Right. And my concern is that the... Uh, my concern is, is that this train is just going to start moving completely on its own. Uh, slacking couplings, yes, uh, but but I still think, based on what what um, others have said, watching this, this guy had to do this and turn all these flipping brakes off. This is this is beyond difficult. Why does it have to be the longest train ever? But look, it's it's completely stationary, and that train should be moving now. So my problem is, if I start releasing these brakes and the train starts moving, I've got to run very quickly. Uh, no, I didn't close the regulator. This is a risk I'm taking. Uh, <laughs> to, I just want to make sure if it removes. So that is released. That thing is off. So let's now just do that whole thing here. And, and I think... These ones are okay. It's just the red carriages. Right, how do I... So there we are. Vacuum. Released. But the thing is, it just seems to reset look when I... <laughs> this could be in vain, guys. Click spot for these little break. Ah, things are just so obscure and difficult to find. Watch the same video as John. He did realise the VAT brakes on red cars only. But when I re am I releasing it correctly? So I'm just basically pulling that and slacking and moving that thing down. Ah, there it is. I can see the cable for it. There we go. No, stop doing that. <laughs> oh, oh my god, where are you? Now I need to go to the other side. Climb under. Don't climb over because you get stuck forever. Finding these click spots are just infuri it's infuriating. Really, really badly fought over. Yeah, Wojtek, I know it's ridiculous, but this is what has to be done. I bet it's not going to work for me, though. If you see the train start moving. <laughs> have to run very very fast but they, they, I know this is ridiculous because there was a similar mission in one of the other ones where you had to go out and do loads of different things on all the carriages without any guidance it wasn't until I saw a YouTube video look it's moving see it is it is actually I need to release more brakes you see it moving oh, why, why is it not on all the carriages I saw it move. I saw that move. Surely it doesn't matter if some brakes are on. Oh, I just saw the click spot. Released. Pull each one for 10 to 25 seconds. So when you say pull it, I have to hold, have to hold it down here. I swear I just saw it move. He's done the same as you're doing now. Okay. Is he commenting on how ridiculous it is? I think I've done all of them. Come on, train. Whew, here we go. Right, signal's still green. Still 
wheel spinning. <laughs> this video is silent, which makes me think his uh, language wasn't. Uh, yeah, he's probably effing and blinding, and I can see why. Move! <laughs> this is so. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to skip it because this is just clearly not working. Sander, yeah, we tried all that. Remember, for those of you who just started watching, you know, I've, we've been here for about 45 minutes trying to do this goddamn mission. Um, but but the brakes are on. It's these stupid brake thing. I mean, I'm just going to try one more time. But the thing is, eventually that signal changes and you're you're screwed. Try one more time. It's like my stubbornness. But I've, I've, I've missed it. It's even stopped raining now. Oh no, it hasn't stopped raining. I mean, can you do the brakes from here? No, you can't. And I can't. How do I? Stupid game. Trucks have the system where air pressure is needed to release brakes. Could that be the case here? Uh, and a valve needs to be open to pressurise the brakes everywhere. Some f yeah, it's some funky vacuum thing. Uh, but but it's just so badly designed. Uh, you know, for some, you know, I am saying that with regards to. Yeah, if I look, if I uncouple it, look, it starts moving. Look. Pull, 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 pull. Look, it can do it without that. And it's just... Ugh. Look, it's taken up the slack. It's, it's close. Check the vacuum. Right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for bearing with me. At least at the end of the stream you can skip this entire part. It's like, I so want to just complete it. This is... fully applied. I don't like how it just falls on its own. It just looks... Like, Thank God you're not a trade dry... I know. There's no brakes on here at all. It's only on the red carriages. But, you know, you're meant to be following these stories in order, and it's completely unplayable. <laughs> I mean, if, I imagine if you work, guys weren't here. I mean, with all your help and you're looking at other videos online, we still can't get this flipping thing to move. And these click spots are just... doesn't seem to be on every train, this little cable thing. You have to pull. You have to pull the brake string on all the wagons for about 10 seconds to release the brakes. I guess it's releasing pressure whilst pulled. Okay, that's done. One, two, three. But if you look there, the click spot for that brake just there, but if you go to the next carriage, same place, the click spot's not there, it's it's in a different place, release, right this is it, if, we, if it doesn't work after this, we're, we're, uh, we're moving on, <gasps> look, do you see that, look, 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 it's doing, it's moving, it's moving, it's it's working. It that is moving. Look, 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 I'm holding release. It is moving. We might have to make a sprint for this. I bet that signals changed though, hasn't it? Look, it's it is moving. Where's that other? Where are you, click spots? Ah, it's infuriating. There's one on every. Oh, don't do that whilst I'm trying to. Stupid. 
stupid, stupid game. <laughs> no, that's a handbrake. Stupid click spots, stupid positions. But that is a hunt. Well, it's now not moving. Oh, it this is just. Oh, every time I pull on another one, it, it moves a little bit more. That signal's so changed. I know it has. Oh, keep, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> we're going to have to make a run for it. Oh, look at this. Every time I pull it, we're getting more acceleration. This is excellent. We've got a minor issue that we don't have a train driver. Jim... Ah, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this with my controller. No, I can't because I'm not in the train commands. Oh, right. Well, no. It doesn't matter. Some brakes are on. We've got to make a sprint for it because we won't get in the train. Ah, come on. Here, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Stupid Devso. Yeah, don't... Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Jim. <laughs> get in. Right, I'm jumping in. Climb aboard. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is this is excellent. Right. It might have some brakes on still. Yes, come on! <laughs> yes! This is this is excellent. Now please, I mustn't fail in any other areas. Ugh. Come on, I need more. Can I go full power yet? We're on the way. Fully open. Now, what? I can close that now. We're on our way. Oh, this is this is excellent. <laughs> this is infuriating three minutes later. It's excellent. Oh, well, guys, I am so sorry for wasting 45 minutes of your time, but the stupid. Right, yes, you have to release the brakes on all the carriages. I got absolutely no information or anything telling me to do that. It was only because one of you has seen someone else on YouTube do it. And how did he find out? A lot of trial and error. God. Right, we are training. And, uh, I don't know. I don't want to ever have to pull any cables or vacuum brake. Don't start wheel spinning. Oh, come on. Go full power now. I think we've got. Oh, I think I already am, aren't I? Yeah. Fully open, and I can put this back to. Uh, now, why can't I click spot this? There we go. That's one. Fifty percent. There we go. Whew. Too late. You missed your slot. Right. I'm not stopping this train now. It's still struggling. Look, 15 miles an hour. Regulator's fully open, and it's it's barely accelerating. Too many carriages. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me there. Whoa. Thanks to Matthew Marchant as well for checking that video, and to uh, everyone else that checked it as well. Right, what is my objectives on this anyway? Uh, it better not be loads. Go via stop, stop, stop. Okay. Right, let's just see what happens. <laughs> my goodness me. The factories in this seem to be at the approach to Tron until the evening. It's a little black and smoky. Right, I've got a red signal ahead in 1.2 miles. Hopefully that will change. Well, it might be because the mission's taking so long that I have the signals all change. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't now go and jump a red light now. Oh, just imagine. I think I've still got some of those brakes on as well on the carriages. That's probably why it's not accelerating. What are the V speeds? Come on. Jim has not complained. He is just... Oh no, it's, it's a lady again. Jim's gone. <laughs> Swap shifts. 
Might need to break fans after you arrive on those pre slog. Good effort sticking with it though. That's all that. Oh, I'm stubborn. But I am concerned about this red signal ahead because we were a little late leaving. Is there, a, there must be a quick, can, can someone look online and see if there's a command to release all the vacuum brakes? Uh, 25 miles an hour, we've got a red signal up ahead. Oh, it's gone green. So we've got 3.5 miles to go, alright, we'll just leave it at full power. Press tab to contact the signal. Proceeds, and the signals indicates. What brakes? <laughs> yeah. Steam pressure's dropping off. And it's uphill here still. Come on. Why uphill? I might be leveling off a little bit after missing the climb. <laughs> she was shoving all the coal in all the wagons now. <laughs> she used the coal from the entire train just to wait for me to get this thing going. Break warning, carriage four. <laughs> so funny. John, congrats. Glad I could be of some help stream. It's, it's unusual, I know. No, you're always helpful, John. But that was exceptionally helpful viewing the other person's. Uh, stream seem how he did. We are we are struggling, we have full steam power and we are actually now slowing down. Twenty three miles an hour. And it could be the fact that we do have some brakes on some of these uh, carriages. But I had to sort of jump in because the train was beginning to run away. Listen, yeah, it reminds me of that original train submission where you had to roll downhill with a fully loaded train and hot brakes. Yes, I do remember that, but that was bugged, wasn't it? Keyboard commands and brakes were... Okay, on, semi I think that's just for the train brakes. Yeah. Ooh, steam, steam brake hook. Apparently. Brakes. Yeah, that's just the combination brakes, won't actually let you control all these carriage brakes. Green signal. Still going uphill. Doing a steady 24 miles an hour. And my apparently it's known issue. If you have fitted wagons between unfitted wagons, you can't get a vacuum to the fitted wagons. So long as we can, it's two miles, 25 miles an hour. This is, this is a steady pace. Oh, oh, yeah, well that's just showing off. <laughs> why am I not on the passenger freight service? I haven't been promoted, that's why. Unbelievable. Well, don't mind me. Love that one. That view's awesome. We're still... S we're slowing down, ladies and gentlemen. 23 miles an hour. God, no. Damn trains with all their brakes released. How dare they overtake. <laughs> 22 miles an hour. No! <laughs> I hope this flattens off a bit. Holding at 22. 0.5% gradient. Come on. 
I should move, oh yeah, move the reverser back a little bit, yeah, maybe. Will that start slowing it down though? Or will that actually just be a little bit more efficient? Alright, let's go 70, yeah, because it did say in the others, the movement's about 50% once you get moving. Let's go 75, I'll meet you halfway. Okay, we've got a red signal one mile ahead. What's that contact signal button? Uh, how do I contact the signal? 0.9 miles red ahead. Reverser, not regulator. Uh, oh, that's yeah, that's at 50%. I've been told that's what to do. Press tab. Yeah, change it. Denied. Wait for signal to change. <laughs> Right, we are not busting that signal, <laughs> alright? But, oh, it's flat now, we're flat, okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Am I getting overtaken again? I haven't blown the boiler or anything yet. Oh, signal is green. We shall continue. Stefan, after leaving 40 minutes late because you don't know how brakes work and you wonder why they don't trust you with passengers, I know how brakes work. There was just no... Uh, I, I basically jumped into this steam train without doing my steam train type rating. And nowhere in the manuals or the tutorial did it mention I have to go out and release the brakes in every single carriage. We need to stop, so, uh, and it's downhill, so I think I can risk closing that regulator. Let it roll. Don't mind this little blast there. We'll stop in 0.7, and we've got 15 miles now, speed up, up. So, for the first time, we'll apply the combination of brakes. That with the, uh, carriage braking we already have applied, it's going to be excellent. Mind, we are running a little bit late, so I've been given permission from the yard yard person to you, yes, you can go a little faster. Disregard red. <laughs> it's, it's completely fine. Yes, they should have had a brake release man. Maybe back then there was someone. Was it the I don't think it was the driver's job to go release the brakes, was it? Sure. Coasting in anyway to the first stop. Speed limit check. <laughs> Yellow's fine. And it's uphill again, so we're going to have to struggle to get moving again, aren't we? Fly deck to screech. <laughs> right. I bet it's going to get me to stop and then just say, yep, carry on. Just let it roll. I can actually, again, I can use my Xbox controls to look outside and stop this train. It's very useful so you don't actually have to manipulate the controls in the cab. Stop! Full application! 
I think I actually have to come to a full stop for it to trigger though, don't I? Yeah, now continue straight. Stop at location as indicated, thanks. Oh no, too much regulator, I'm going to wheel spin for sure. Come on. 10%. Do I need to let the water out the... Um... Yeah, I need to do that, don't I, to let the water out. Yeah, we're okay, look, and it is a bit downhill. Excellent. I'll close that then. Maybe it should be open for longer. Keep shuffling, Jim. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the man in the brake van job, I reckon. Yeah, maybe the guy in the brake van has to go and do all the brakes every time we move. So this is, again, another stop at location. Signal is green ahead. I only know that because of this. <laughs> What's this? Is the window. Summer's day. Oh, we've got a red signal ahead. Oh, we've got to stop 500 yards though. Maybe it's one of these reverse jobs again. in, reverse, and drop off your load. I've actually got quite a lot of coal today. It's going down, oh, it's going downhill here. So I might just start riding the brakes. Whoa, actually, no, I don't need it that much. It's slowing down very quickly. The brakes are very effective. Definitely deserve a run for finishing this mission, I know. Can you ask Jim to cook some bacon on the shovel? Bacon butty right now would be wonderful. Oh yeah, it's not on top of the point. I'll be a bit cold though, but it's just in. Stop! Stop! I press full... Br no, brakes! I put full application on. Well, maybe I'll let go of it. Oh, please don't. Make me reverse onto it. Ah, oh, that's full brakes. I'm gonna have to reverse, aren't I? No, objective complete. And now it's reverse. Oh no! <laughs> right, I've got to reverse on a one percent gradient with some carriage brakes on. Right, well, let's, let's open that. Get my water out. Let's cylinders. <laughs> right, backwards. I'm going to put a little bit of gas on now. Slowly release those brakes. Come on. Come on. Get. Oh no, maybe uh close this. Ah, uh, wheel spin! Maybe maybe I should not have closed that. Oh no. I've gotta go up on quite a steep gradient now I'm wheel spinning. We were doing so well. Right, I'm not going to open that. Uh, I'll close it, yeah, until I get some movement here. Come on. Tra whole train's moving. As soon as I closed that, we started wheel spinning. Okay. Is that damaging it with that open, though? Okay, I've closed it now. That's it, come on! 
Come on. Superb. Right. We've got to go backwards for half a mile. Do I dare a little bit more regulator? Forty-seven percent. Now we're steaming. Green signal. Well, that's good. Yes. Right, we cannot screw this up. We're never doing this this mission again. <laughs> that was so hard. It's wet coal. There we are, right, let's ease off that regulator now. Did the switches move automatically for you? I believe so. Well, I hope so. We'll about to soon find out. So far, so good. I don't want to completely close the regulator because we're going up slope. Fingers crossed that they have changed the signals because I can remember some of the other ones we've done in the past, like the cargo train ones, you had to get out and change some of the signals on the missions. I don't tell you a couple of me onto more trains. I want to carry passengers. I'm sure I'm going to get promoted after my excellent work on this this mission. Fingers crossed the points man is all over it. I hope so, Mark. Oh, next left. He's on it. He's on it. Look at the size of these. And there were some railways like this in the Victorian times, weren't there? Like 20, 25 lines across. It's absolutely crazy if you think about it. It's huge. Right, we are coasting now. I'm going to regulate up a little bit more. Press 9 to check the switches. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm checking there. Right, I've got to be a bit careful here because I don't want to smash into the uh, stop. Slow it right down to a couple miles an hour. Brakes are on. This is good. Get me off this train. <laughs> yeah, I think it is model off a real world route to list them in. These are authentic tracks. Slam on the brakes. Now! Please be the end. Oh, thank God for that. 34 minutes plus the one hour before. And a gold medal! <laughs> That's a full house. Even though I did speed slightly around here. Ah, oh, right. What a stream. Two hours. Let's see what's what's what. I'm just going to briefly go to the main menu, see what the main mission is. Oh, that was that was infuriating. Uh, just before we have a look at this, let's just have a look at what we've got to do. Uh, main menu. Yes. On a completely unrated note, do you have plans to fly the 727 soon? Yes, I do. It's actually one of the aircraft I want to revisit sooner rather than later. Um, for sure. That's for sure. Um, so that was the ridiculous one we did there. The next one is more threat, more freight. Oh, I've got to do all this stuff here. I think what we'll do, if I can, I'll, I'll do the next one. Time missing this one here, we'll, and then maybe we can rejoin it in a future stream. Stream at chapter three. Uh, let's do one more. Just hope it's not on one or some other ridiculous thing. Oh, too many people. But aren't they, these are different? This is a different train, I think. London, Houston to Liverpool, Lime Street. Isn't that going to be a very long train journey? 
Uh, has Fly Jason announced when they will update the 7.2? I know they said they'll do it, it'll be a free update. Um, let's do one more. I'll try and do it in order. Hey, Domino OC, hope you're doing well, bud. <laughs> We're not doing so well. Drive this freight service bound for Saltney from Edge Hill to Runcorn. Okay, begin. Uh, well, I'm not getting out and doing all those. Oh, look. I ha Hopefully, the carriage brakes are off on these ones. Well, I'm not checking. Right. Forward. Open initially. Small ejector. Open. Regulator. Set. Oh no, brakes are already released. Do I, if I need to go and turn... No, look. They've been sensible on this mission. They've actually left the carriage brakes off. Thank you. Or have they? <laughs> At least it's not a wet track. Can you use this camera to release the brakes? Oh, can you actually do this instead of not getting out of the train? No, it's, it is moving. Very slowly. Yeah, you can actually, you're right, you can actually. Ah, but they do have the brakes. Oh, don't. Yeah, look, I've actually literally just released that. Does it release all of them? Because look, as soon as I moved that to release, it started moving a little more forward. I love that they've modelled that. Maybe it controls all of them. Well, it's 0.8% and... We are rolling. I think it does control all of them. Okay. That definitely, as soon as I moved that, it definitely started accelerating a little quicker. Whee! That was a little bit too soon. Change his appearance again. What is I'm steam training? Fully open. We are accelerating rapidly to the speed limit. I think you're okay with the brown trunk when it's moving now. And we're going up, up slope as well, and it seems to be accelerating, so. This <laughs> chimp His no, His neck is now a, 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 an average length. <laughs> confident in driving it now um, and I've obviously got all the nav aids on here but it's certainly more difficult than Euro Truck Simulator that's for sure <laughs> uh, speeding brakes oh no not steam brake I want the token brake God, look at 
that straight onto a 2.8% upgrade and you really have to constantly move the regulator and things. This, I'm very fortunate to have the boiler man, Jim, doing everything to control the boiler. 40 miles an hour, that's what I'm going to be doing. Can't look at the gradient changes on this. Flight News Simulator, worthy to be amongst the 2,000 people invited on Monday at Wisp Assembly. was very generous of you. To, to say, but uh, I think there's far more worthy people. It's going to be very moving. There we are. I mean, this is the fastest we've been on stream, and this is a go fire, so I don't actually need to stop. I've got a 50 bar now, speed limit coming up. So I'm just going to keep it on full power and it's green signal ahead. 50 miles an hour. I'm going to wait until the rear of the train to pass, haven't I? This is better. We're making some decent progress. Hopefully that speed will change to 50. Oh, yes! Six miles. Come on! Martin, uh, plus one for ETS2. Now, if you're new to the channel, we have like a an alpaca logistics episode series going on. I haven't streamed it for nearly a year. So I can either continue with that. We're probably lost. We have three drivers now. Alpaca logistics, three drivers. We've got three trucks. Um, pff, I can't remember where we are. I might have to start it again. Uh, but I know there's that online one. We could perhaps do an online one. Maybe. Look at this, barreling through at 50 miles an hour. This is excellent. Let's go on bridge cam. That's superb! <laughs> idea what my train speed is. Oh, we're speeding. Right, into the carriage. And that's at 50 already. Look at this! We're actually making decent progress. Well, we're running a little bit behind, so we'll just let it coast at 53. What other noises can I make it do? Pro streamer right there, folks. How you doing well, Nortsky? Oh, yeah, I might have to just put a smidge of brakes in here. I don't want to get... I, I'm going for those gold medals on every mission. Now what on earth do these gauges down here mean? We've got three arrows with two white dots. We've got three here on this one. No idea what that means. No glass ga gauge glass. No, I don't want that. I don't know what that is. Jumping up and down as well. Martin, I've been a long time lurker, been missing the ETS streams. Yeah, I love the ones where we get the two contained lorries or the two um, trailers, they're always quite good fun. It's quite challenging to reverse those into those places. So, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do that next. I also want to do a, a Euro, a Euro, um, a Euro Truck Cities Skyline one as well, where you guys can like names and street names and stuff. But the priority is always the gaming channel. Uh, sorry, it's the it's the main flight deck sim channel. Um, I'm still very busy, so you know I'll always jump to uh, that first. To keep going. Dirk is waiting for you. I'm amazed how many of you guys remember all that. Dirk is one of our drivers. I can't even remember Vlad. Vlad and Dirk. Three 
1.8 miles to our destination. Vlad, Stan, and Dirk. Uh, Stan, one of them. I can't remember. God, look at this. This is train track straight. Feels like we're not on the track. <laughs> like we're jumping. I'm actually doing quite well on this mission. Where's the speedometer in here? So, obviously I've got the HUD here, but how do you actually know what the speed is without? Refit. Ooh. Bouncing a bit, Captain, I know! <laughs> Wheel spin there. Conductor measures airspeed by holding his head out of the window. <laughs> Stay on the abandoned station, see what it looks like on a flyby. Here we come. Brilliant. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fun. Uh, I've got wheel spin and I'm speeding. 1.9 miles. It's a go fire, so don't need to stop here. Just ease off the regulator. Maybe a little bit of brakes. Steam brake. No, I don't want steam brake. I want regular brake. I've somehow unassigned my brake commands. The combination brake. I like how if I hold the mouse then the jumping's making me change the brake force. The brakes on while driving indicates the speed becomes an IPS indicated brake speed, brilliant. Oh yes, the flyby camera, yes, that is a nice feature in x 12. Front damper? Lower. This is all being controlled by Geo Block. He's manipulating this, I guess, to control the oil and pressures and whatnot. The way he's bounded, I think, uh, indicates this speed will be more appropriate. We are jumping around. I'm going to my head out on a brick wall. Barrel through slow line. Just in the station, I guess, some sort of car moving around today. Mm -hmm. Stop at location Runcorn Platform 1. So I think we should turn off the regulator, let it roll. Oh, actually, there's no. 
Oh yeah, that's because I was on his head. I bet, is there, is there actually a way of turning that all off? Oh, 20 miles an hour, slow down, thank you. early now. Actually, if you want to slow down quickly, you can, but probably the way I've done it is really bad for the, the engine. Uh, Andrew, what country is the train you're driving in? I only joined this uh, stream about 20 minutes ago in the UK. It's an old train line based around Liverpool, I think. To the front of this stream, I'm probably by the idea of an airline pilot tries real world series baking, painting an archery. <laughs> Outrageous. Uh, 20 mile. Oh no, I can speed up now. Oh no, I can't. There's another. Why has it gone back to 50 when there's another 20 mile an hour speed limit coming up? It's probably because of the station. 20 miles an hour, 40 yards. 55 miles an hour again. Look at the old um, signal switch. It's amazing how they communicated and you know worked all this in the 19th century during the Victorian era. Yeah, there's no telephone. So when did telephone come along? End of the 19th century, wasn't it? 80 mile an hour speed limit. That's more like it. Can we max out this train? No, I can't because we've got to stop at 1.8 miles. We do have a habit train sim <laughs> during train simulation streams always trying to max the trade out. Right there we're at 80 mile an hour. Let's go. Fully open. Maybe I should put that back to 75%. Use all that lovely steam up. Slow, tr uh, slow thing. Send it, Toga. <laughs> then telegraph to communicate using Morse, of course. Wait, am I being overtaken again? I no, I thought I could hear another train. Just more carriages. That's a cool view. It's actually quite a, you know, it's quite a visually nice game. It looks beautiful. Yeah, not many of these machines uh, around these days. So we're going to stop at 1.5, and the speed limit is 80 for another 1.8. This is a full steam ahead, Shuri. What town or city is your final destination? I have no idea. It's some, somewhere around it. Steep gradient again. Look, 0.9%, and we are barely maintaining 25 miles an hour. Beautiful aqua doves. Or fire doves. Jim looking out, there's me looking out. Just dropping up here. I 
have any Airbus made trains. Maybe they do. They make helicopters and like, you know, all sorts of other things, isn't it? Military aircraft. Bus simulator, no, can you laugh? I think I'm all steam trained out after today. <laughs> we seem we spent half the stream trying to work out how to get the thing moving, but the brakes were stuck on. <laughs> Once we've arrived on and completed this one, we'll be calling it a day. It has been great fun. Oh, this is still really struggling to get up this hill. Uphill. Move it, isn't that a. Uh, see, that is yellow or green. This is an actual real bridge in said location. It's Liverpool? It's flat now. person has lit their fire. Right, how long to go? 600 yards. I think we should turn off the regulator. Uh, we're only doing 28 miles an hour there. Yeah. OMS, OMSI, OMSI. Okay. Yeah, the driving ones are certainly a, a lot more amusing. These is obviously train seems a great fun. Uh, but once you get moving, there isn't much to it, really. <laughs> the truck one's always very popular. I, one of my truck sim videos, got, bear in mind, it's a very small channel, so it's been quite, I think, 13, 14,000 times. Oh, look at this for a butter <laughs> train parking. Uh, yeah, I'm not going past that red signal, that's for sure. I'd rather stop and then... Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. If I'd left that a second later, we'd have been screwed. That was a poker, though. Gold medal again. Ah, superb work. Oh, dear. That was close. I could have... Failed that whole mission. <laughs> right, continue. Uh, free advertising, not for trades in World 3. Right. <sighs> that was, that was close. No, in the next one, we, if, if we ever do it, it's going to be in the rain. Uh, with all the brakes still on. Right, how do I get to the menu? So, let's see how we... You can't teach that. Um... We did well. We finished chapter one. We have one more left of chapter two. If you'd like to see more of it, let me know in the comment section below after the stream. And we could continue with some of the other chapters. I certainly need some days recovery after that. But it, it was good fun. And uh, I might look and see if there's any other issues with brakes and carriages and all those sort of things. Thank you very much for your patience there and for those that went off to other videos to see what was wrong. Um, I, f I just don't understand why they don't mention it once in the tutorial that you need to go and do things like that. Anyway, I'm a train driver novice. I hope you enjoyed anyway, jumping into Airline Pilot Plays again. It's over been over four months, I think, since the last stream. I will try and keep that content going. I'm actually quite busy flying again. Uh, it's quiet for the next kind of week or two, and then it's very busy again. Sort of end of September, looking into October. You should get a little quieter come autumn, winter. Uh, we're, so I'll be uh, hopefully getting out more content both on here and on Flight Deck to Sip. Guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Hope you have a great weekend. And thanks a lot for tuning in. It's been good fun. I'll see you all soon. Cheerio!